Hey. Hey. All right. Well, we loved seeing your all's responses on the comment section about how you all enjoy praising God, right? Because remember last week, what does David, King David like to do? I love dance. He likes to dance. Yes. So this week, our story is not about King David. This week, our story is about Solomon. Solomon was King David's son. Oh. Okay, so the story is called Solomon Builds a Temple, and it's actually two stories, but they go together. So the first story is based on uh, 1 Kings chapter 6, verses 1 through 38, and then we do 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 1 through 66. Here we go. Solomon wanting, wanted to do something to show the people that God was with them. So Solomon built a temple, a special place where people could come to worship God. The people chipped away at huge stones and sawed through wood to build the temple. The people hammered gold and bronze to cover the temple. The people worked for seven years to build the temple. It was beautiful. Let me see the temple. Seven years. Wow. Yeah. So after the temple was finished, Solomon gathered all the people together and the priest moved the chest of God into the temple. Solomon stood in front of all the people. Remember all the wonderful things that God has done for us, said Solomon. Remember that God is with us all the days of our lives. Solomon knew the temple would help the people remember that God was with them. The temple was finished. It was a special place for people to worship and gather together. Wow, so seven years it took him to build that temple, right? That's even longer than it took to build that shop. Yes, it is I longer. I that we built that. Well, we renovated it. So, do you think that Solomon and the people might have gotten tired? Do you think that they might have gotten tired when building yes. that? Yes! For seven years straight? Yeah. So, you think they might have wanted to stop? Yes! But did they? No. No. They yeah. were what we call That's dedicated, it. right? They were dedicated. Very dedicated. Can you think of anything that you are dedicated to doing? That you stick to it? You always want to do it, even though sometimes you may not feel like doing it. You always do it. Like that? Doing lessons. Doing our lessons? All right. Okay. So sometimes you may not want to do it because it's late at night or something. You do it because um, you know it's good to do, right? And you do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything that you are super dedicated to? You covering me up every night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are super dedicated <laughs> to us covering you up. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I, every time you go, I ask your brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or well, so once they built the temple, they did something they called, they dedicated the temple. And let's read the story about it. It was time to move the sacred chest into the new temple in Jerusalem. So Solomon called all of the Israelite leaders together. And when the leaders arrived, the priest carried the sacred chest and all of the holy things into the inner holy place of the temple. God's presence filled the temple. Solomon knelt down at the altar to pray, saying, I have built God a house to live in forever. God bless. There is no God like you. Please, or God, you keep your promises. Please listen to your people when they pray in the temple. Care for every person. Solomon stood up and faced the leaders. He said, may God be blessed. God has cared for us, and we will live the way God wants us to. So how do you think Solomon felt when, as he prayed to God and dedicated the temple? Proud. You think he felt proud? That they 
all have come in. Thankful? I think you might be right. You might have felt thankful that it was done, right? Thankful that he had. I, I agree. I think he probably also felt proud. Do you think he felt relief? Like maybe, whew, I'm tired. Glad to be done. Yeah. And now he got to enjoy the temple, right? Yeah. Yeah. It probably wasn't fun building it, though. So why, you don't think it was fun building it? It no. might have been a lot of work, right? Mm -hmm. No. It probably would be kind of fun. I oh, mean, like what? saying it wouldn't be like gold. really excited. Yeah. I meant like, like. Not that and exciting, you know but that it okay, was okay, we for a good, good, we both good cause. It was for a good cause. It was something that they were doing, right? So why do you think that Solomon felt that it was important that he prayed over or that he dedicated the temple? Because so that... Nope, one at a time. So, so, um, so, um, the people could stay together and be kind. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So that everyone knew they had worked hard on it. So do you remember what he said in it? He, he said to God, there is no God like you. You keep your promises. Please uh, listen to your people when they pray in the temple and care for every person, right? So he was dedicating it. And even though God knew, he was just reminding God that we built this for you. This is your temple where we come to worship you, right? You think somebody probably dedicated our church? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, do you remember when we were building the new building? Yeah. You remember, remember that? Playing in the mud. But you're right. You remember playing in the mud. You we know, play? before when we broke, before we broke ground, we prayed and and dedicated the land that we broke ground on. The new building, right? Did I play in the mud? You played in the mud too. I'll have to see if I can't find that picture. Maybe Rebecca has a copy of it. Was she on her belly? Huh? Wasn't that the picture that she was on the belly? Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we've gotten a little off track today, but we are so glad that we got to kind of see you all again this week. And we're going to let, let's see, do you want to pray? Yeah. We're going to let Riley pray and Jackson pray. And we're going to close out our um, lesson this week. And tell us about something special or fun we've done in maybe the new building or even in the church. All right, Riley, go ahead. Um, thank you, God, for making it be able to please us to um, still do these lessons even though we can't go to church and do all our lessons, but we can still make these. And thank you for all the the math and and um, the food and the drinks to stay healthy and thank you for the, um thank you for giving us houses to live in so we can stay so that have beds so we can in rooms so we can do things in them and thank you for um making us be able to still do fun things like camping and fishing amen thank you god for letting us still do these lessons and that people are trying to find a cure for the coronavirus amen amen Y'all have a great week and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.